Okay, now we're going to do it completing the square by the normal regular way that we know. So I'm going to complete the square now by also, oh, sorry, by making sure that the x squared coefficient is 1. So in this case, I'll divide everything by 4. Then that would give me an x squared coefficient of 1, negative 5x, because 20 divided 4 is 5, plus 23 over 4 equals 0, because anything, 0 divided by anything is 0. So then we're going to move the constant out, so I'm going to subtract negative 23 over 4 from each side. That will get me x squared minus 5x equals negative 23 over 4. Then we take the middle coefficient, which is in this case 5, or negative 5, actually. We're going to divide that by 2, and then we're going to square it. And that would get me positive 25 over 4. And I'm going to add that to both sides, so I'm going to also add it here. Then we're going to work it out. So to put it in perfect square form, take the square root of the first, square root of the last, sine of the middle. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 25 over 4 is 5 over 2. Sine of the middle is negative. And then if we work this out, we would get 2 over 4, because negative, uh, negative 23 plus 25 is 2. Divide by 4 is just a half. Then to work it out, we're going to take a square root of both sides. When you take a square root of a, a, a constant, don't forget the plus or minus sign because you get two answers, a positive answer and a negative answer. That will get you x minus 5 over 2 equals plus or minus root a half. By adding 5 halves to each side, x should be equal 5 halves plus or minus root 1 over 2. That's your final answer.